just getting this angle right. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. I can't read it. Oh. <laughs> you read the top ones, didn't mm -hmm. you? I love that. Aww. All right, we're live. Oh, look at that view. What? Look at. That's a good view. Dang, that is really nice. What's going on? Do you want my phone for comments? Maybe. I hope some people came over from my TikTok. Big time. You know, I can also put that trap out on this bucket. And get. Dang, you have tons of comments already. What? Yeah, here you go. What's up, George? Ding dong? I'm doing good. Dan? Been good. Just getting the fish grind down. What's up, Plato? Wabash, how we doing? Big Muddy? Uh, no, we started about an hour and a half ago. Haven't got one yet. But we're working on it. We're working on it. I forgot, how did you do that bobber on the ice trick? Well, you take a... It's right here. Put your rod tip over the hole, middle of the hole, that's the key. And then you do a pile. And then you take your line from the tip of your eyelet to the first eyelet down, and you pull that out on the side of the hole. And then you, and then you let the, you tighten it up so the line's tight, and then you set your bobber on the mound. Let it, let it swing in. What's up, Edge? How you doing? Thanks for coming in here, guys. It's my first ice fishing stream of the year. <coughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. I got my little fuzzy thermals on. Real comfy. This chip's good? Yep. Whoa. It's a big mark. They can, can see they the graph. See that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they should be able to see it. That's a kahuna. Big kahuna. We're marking so many sturgeon, it's insane. A chungus. <laughs> I don't know why nothing's biting. That's the fish we're looking for, Lance. We want one that does not fit through the hole. I want one we gotta re-drill. That's the goal. Where are you out fishing, Jeff? What's up, Bucktail? How are you doing? If, I get, if you get a fish in yours, I'm throwing your your phone back there somewhere in the pile. I'll throw it on my chair. Well, yeah, I'll do my best. I just want to keep it away from there when I'm chucking it, when I get a fish. Oh, we're comfy. I'm going to make my chair a little bit more sensitive. Okay. <laughs> Reel up and check, too. I can show you guys how uh, Tara sets up her uh, bobber rig, if you guys want to see. What's up, Kruger? Uh, Jeff's been marking nonstop as well. Do you want them to see it? You can show them that rig if you want. Go ahead. And then I can... Uh... Here, I'll Vanna White it for you. This is our rig. Tell them about it, Luke. It's a custom rig. 
It's got beads and a weight on top, very lightweight, so the fish doesn't feel it. Then there's some rubber beads, some plastic beads, and a slip to hold it all together, and then a treble hook on the bottom. With worms. That's paired up with an extra heavy rod, 42 inch extra heavy rod. Dun, 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 dun. It's a Daiwa reel with 30 pound braid on it. Dang. I worked that. Yeah. So what she does is drops it all the way to the bottom. I think I should show them the trick. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show them. I gotta grab my camera. Mark, they're inside something. Mark's in here? What? Marky Mark. What's up, Mark? Live chat. There it is. Singles tonight living dangerously. Hey, that's what we do. Let me flip the camera so you guys can see. So there's a couple ways you can uh, set up these sturgeon ice rods. Let me clean my lens off. This is called the pendulum. What's, What's up, Plato? It takes Tara a little bit. But she takes the line from the tip of the eyelet and the first eyelet, and she puts her bobber there. Look at the bobber. Yeah, bobbers <laughs> is, is mod modified, so it's not full like it normally is. And she's got to let more line out. I, can my I would let up. more line out. Leave your tip over the tip front. I just keep sliding. Then she's a mound there. A little mound of. Well, that's gonna might. Oh, well, that's tight. That's close. She's in a little mound of snow. That's a short hair. And if that if that. So theoretically. Bait, if that bait gets touched. Go ahead and show them. The bobber swings in the hole so you know you have a bite. And or you can set put a slip on on your line and set your bobber so it's just about to tip up. So it'll detect the bite. If you have the bobber just sitting in the hole, like a normal bobber, like this crappie bobber, it's very hard to see the bites. So this makes it so you don't have to pay full attention to your bobber and you know you get a bite. Or a lot of guys nowadays are doing just the bobber in the hole with a slip. And then they're letting the uh they're letting the um they're keeping the so it's sitting like this in the hole it's sitting like this in the hole and then if you get a bite the bobber comes up you keep it at like almost like a 45 degree so if you get bit the bobber will sit straight up they don't bite like normal fish right tara no. this is tara tara fishing female angler angler of the year nominee <laughs> Right don't there. Gassing me up. Yeah, I'm gassing you up. No. What? And you can Isn't see. Fat there's a something. It looked like it was right on my minnow when I moved it. But I have the same rig on mine. It's all to preference, honestly. It's preference. I like this because it's surefire. I'm gonna try to get. Get it so it's not facing that way. Ooh, that's scary. I'm trying to set this up right, guys. So we. Can I see your phone? How's that look? I'm going to take this fan out. Turn it off. How's the top of my head look? That looks good right there. I'm thick. Good thing I washed my hair today. How's that angle look? What's up, mother? I'm gonna sit down and see how it looks. What's up, Mike? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I like that angle a lot. Turn this fan back on. Yeah, I need the heat. Push it towards you.
Yeah, we just need to catch a fish now. Thanks for coming in here tonight, guys. I appreciate it. Now we just need a big chongus. Chongus. Oh, when Mark said we're running singles, single holes. Yeah, we're running 10 inches, Mark. Yeah, I got the... Terry got the, the new Light Flight 10-inch 40 volt. Yeah, big time. She's big time. Big time. <clears throat> Hopefully, uh, chat's working. Can somebody read something in chat? I was changing that tire. Oh, chat's working. <laughs> that was really good, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ginger Cat. I blew my trailer tire. I didn't even blow the tire. I had such low pressure in my trailer tire that it came off bead. And came off the rim well it was on the rim you know how it is when the tire comes off the bead and uh my rod holder is just slipping that was not a fish okay nobody panic i'm gonna have to get a little more no i just have to oh, get okay. this to stop moving oh it's sliding put a block right behind it and you're good Oh, there's a sturgy down there. <laughs> Dang flabbit. Oh, nice. Next weekend. I didn't even know. What? Hometown Hero Outdoors Ice Event. Oh. That'll be cool. So you haven't even... Have you not ice fished sturgeon yet this year, Mark? Yeah, Ginger Cat, no problem. I did invite you. I texted you. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. That was Tara. <laughs> <laughs> That's so touchy. Yeah, you guys, let, let me know in chat where you're all from. There's 21 of you in here. Let me know. Drop it in the hole. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a sandwich too. Here you go. Omaha. Pick one. Omaha? Michelle's from Park Rapids. What? <laughs> what? She is? Since when? What? Mom. Can I have a mayo? <laughs> Anything Sag else you want? Sag how do you say it? Saginaw? Saginaw Bay. Philly. Great area. Great area. Here you go. Two of them, because I know you want two. Yeah, I do. Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Sturgeon Lake? Do you like agates? Is that an agate place? I've heard. Oh, Jeff is from Jordan. Jeff is? Jeff. Who's Jeff? His name know. sounds familiar. Clover, Wisconsin. Oh, I can't get this open. How do you open these? He said yes. What? Oh, we like agates we too. We like agates too. I heard like the Moose Lake, Sturgeon Lake area is prime. Don't time. let us come because we'll get them all. Ryan Kruger's from Iowa. Kruger's from Iowa? Yeah. Like, Who would have uh, thought? He catches how big of chans in Iowa? 30s. 30s. Yeah, I'm going there this spring. We. Hooks and hammocks. Hooks and hammocks is in the house? It is in the house for you. Here you go. What's up, hooks? And hammocks? He <laughs> said northern Michigan just started getting good ice. Bruh. Winter's over halfway over. Winter's over halfway over. If you guys want to do me a favor, if you are enjoying this, share it on your social media platform. If we get 100 people in here, concurrent, if we get to 100, I'll give away a, a leather patch sturgeon hat. Ooh. Here, here, here. If we can get to 100. What's up, Don? Is this Captain Don? Don 
Let's see, check out the agate days in Moose Lake. <gasps> I've heard about them. I've heard they're lit. There you go. What was that? Your bobber falling in. Do I do it? Is there a fish on your graph? No. Yeah, I wouldn't. Maybe. I'll just give it a little, uh. No. Dang it. Distracted by the sandwich. It's the same distraction. We're eating food now. I think Kara's got a little more line out. <laughs> She's stubborn. This is always trial and error. What are you talking about? You just send it. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, if we can get to 100 people, which I think is doable, I'll give away a sturgeon, couple sturgeon stickers and a sturgeon hat to a viewer. And the key word, if you win, is going to be top 25 because one of the top 25 people, the first 25 in here are going to get it. Thanks for sharing, guys. Share it, appreciate it. Thanks, Jay. Sturgeon? Where am I? Did you get bit? Get bit, rip its face off. Tara's good at that. It is so cold out, you guys, and I'm not looking forward to packing up. It will not be fun. Look at that. All those are really well, I'm good. seeing it. Are there agates in, agates in the willow area? Willow something. Tell you what, we found uh, agates on Tatanka this year. Yeah, duck hunting. Oh, we were duck hunting. It's pretty much agates anywhere in the this air in the anywhere that's in the. If you look up the Lake Superior agate, LSA region, you'll it'll show where all the Lake Superior agates are. Yeah, I don't walk out here, Mark. I got my. <laughs> I got my snowmobile. Mm. Screw that. If I didn't have a snowmobile, we would not be out here right now. But it's going to be cold. It's going to be real cold. Thanks, Dan. Seven below in Park Rapids tonight. Tomorrow is a high of three. And we're fishing tomorrow. We're doing some other kind of fishing tomorrow. Some backwater uh, river fishing. So we'll see how that goes. See my butt, my minnow is going crazy. That scared me. What? When you pulled it and it went that way. Oh. Is that my blue thing on the bag? You guys can arrowhead hunt while fishing down here. 
Buddy Brandon found one his second time down. Well, I bet it is cold in Bismarck. It is cold. <clears throat> Good old Bismarck. What, is it another bag? Yeah. Oh. Let me try. I think I'm getting it. Blue. Oh man, it's all over my bit. There Thank you go. You. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome very much. Can you guys see the graph? How many fish are on there? Can you zoom Look in? Look at that. That's a giant Holy surgeon. Holy Moses. Can they see that? I don't know. Let me turn oh my phone. Oh my gosh. It's tough to see. Oh, you can zoom in on YouTube. Is a. If you pull, pull the screen, you can see the giant fish on the graph, guys. Oh. She's pointing to it. Oh my gosh. That is so thick. Look. That's a huge fish. <gasps> That's a Dang. huge fish. That's the biggest one we've they seen all see night. They can see it. What's up, Racer Tracer? How are we doing? 69 more, 68 more people now. Fifth, yeah, 68 people more. If we can get 100 concurrent, we're doing a big giveaway. That was bananas. Bananas. Good to hear, racer. Good to hear. Now I'm going to add, oh, geez. It's another thick girl on the screen. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Hooks and hammocks. That's a good one. Yeah, it was a huge fish. That's the biggest mark we've seen tonight. Jeff said, I got a giant 10 feet off bottom. That doesn't surprise me. We've Jeff, seen some hot. Look at that. Yeah, he's out here. Nyquist is out here. Jeff's out here. That fish just came right up to my minnow. Is that the big kahuna again? Look at. Or was that just that guy? I don't know. Damn. We're due. It's the most sturgeon I've ever marked fishing. And now we just need to catch them. But it's like the normal croy. They'll just start eating. I want to catch my big one again. Or you catch it. It'd be so sick. That will be epic. Mm-hmm. I got an email back from uh, the state of Wisconsin uh, four days ago, and speed is not Wisconsin's forte of getting records, but my paperwork's getting worked on right now, and they're going to be sending me my certificate, and they're going to update the website for my catch and release state record for Wisconsin for sturgeon. Shane Osborne Richards, you can't find night crawlers. Aren't they Canadian night crawlers? Put on. Shane, what I would do is buy, order some online. Have them mailed to you, Shane. I would recommend night crawlers or any natural minnow to that body of water, but grab. Yeah, I would order them online, Shane. Like uh, Ryan said, have them come right to your house. Send it. Ice cracked. <laughs> Look at that. There's a feeder. There's a feeder. Bruh. Right on bottom, guys. 
replica coming soon. Yeah, once I get 2500 bucks saved up, which I actually have saved up right now, but I'm not spending it on a replica. Was there a video of your record fish? There's a little video. If you go to my YouTube shorts. If I was there. Uh, Tara was not there yet, and I was just about to go pick her up. But there's a video of me holding it and releasing it. Huge. And I didn't have any of my GoPro set up because I was literally just messing around beached in, on the Wisconsin side of the river waiting for Tara to get to get to where she, I was going to pick her up. And I was fighting this fish for like 15 minutes and I called her while I was fighting the fish. I said, this fish is huge. It's going to take me a little bit. I went in another boat that was fishing out front of me. They asked if I needed help and I did. And... uh they helped me get the fish in. It was the guy, one of the guys in their boat. It was the first time he had ever seen a sturgeon. And he couldn't, I said, well, you got <laughs> nothing you see from now You're on. Right. Ever going to look this big. But, uh, yeah, it's the Wisconsin release rec, catch and release record. Especially since I was on shore, which is even cooler. That's my. We got white sturgeon. Nice sturgeon. Hmm? Fish. Shark. I'm just thinking how many species I've cut over 100 pounds. Yeah. Dang. Four. <laughs> no, maybe only three. No, four or five, maybe. Tara has never alligator garfish with me yet, but I want to get her down to Texas to do it. There's a sturgeon down there, too. Did your bobber move? Yeah. It's really good when they just shoot into the hole. Let me guess, Luke. All right, you. I want to hear what you got to say. Oh, you want to guess the species? It might only be four. I don't know if I've cut five. Uh, my lake sturgeon was 77 and a half. Over 100 pounds. Bro. That looks mud puppy-ish, but there's it a sturgeon does. there. You do have a sturgeon down there. He bumped your line. He's sniffing for your bait. Give it a second. No, Kruger, not. Not at all. Nope. <clears throat> you got two of them, right? And I've caught two species of sturgeon over 100 pounds. The lake sturgeon one was lucky, so I take that. I'll take luck though. Luck's good to have sometimes. Uh, my four I've caught over 100 for sure are blue catfish, white sturgeon, which is like about right around 300 pounds, lake sturgeon, and alligator gar. Why? You got one sniffing you. She got fish down there sniffing her the bait. The tip just keeps lifting. Like you got it. There's a fish down there. You just give it a second. It'll take it. She's gonna set this thing to the roof when she gets a fish. It's gonna be epic. I hope I have the. You should flip your line over a little bit on your reel. See, look at your reel where the line hits goes on the the, the sling. Oh, no down at the reel. See where there's the little thing. Push it over. There you go. I don't know if I've caught it. I don't think I've caught a shark over 100. I, I'm almost positive I haven't. I'm not good at shark fishing, and I haven't really done it a whole lot. We've caught a lot of smaller, like 40, 50 pound sharks. Um, and I didn't go to Florida for the sandbar shark run, which I would have crushed 100 pounds. Oh, no, I have! Nurse shark! My nurse shark was like 200, 200 to 300 pounds. You're right. Shit. Kruger knows more than me, so I have five speed. Five over a hundred. 
Never caught a grouper. Oh, I've never caught. I've never caught a Goliath. I should say. I've caught a lot of grouper. Jeez, there's so many fish on the graph right now. You're about to see one come through. It's a real deal. Tara's all antsy and anxious. <laughs> Sitting there with her hand on the rod waiting. And I feel like I have to fart. So <laughs> it's a weird combination we got going on here. Ooh, lemon. Hell yeah. Take a bite of my sandwich. Yeah, Kruger, you know. Take a bite. Get get some food in you. Get some protein. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? Yeah. There's a puppy in there. I feel like there's a mud puppy down there. In fact, Tara's got the mud pup. Is that real up? Mm, give it a second. <laughs> Sorry. I'm more excited to chance to catch a 30. Kruger, what are the odds we catch a... I'm weighing these 30-pound channel cats you speak of. When I put it on a scale, how, what are the odds we catch... If we spend a whole weekend down on Okaboji, what are the odds we find a 30-pounder, realistically? On the best weekend, early spring, an entire weekend, even night fishing... Tara is forever eating while she's fishing. <gasps> yeah. You know who said that? Who? Mart. Bruh. I'm setting it. Set it, set it, set it. You have a pup on. Oh yeah, you got a pup for sure. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, there's a small fish. Sturge! She caught a sturge! OMG! So you have to hold it up to the camera. First ice sturge in the room. What? <laughs> Big time! Oh, he's really spiky. It's gonna hurt. You want me to get it? No. Jeez. She's got a lot of attitude. Ryan said, Tara will catch one for sure. You will miss yours, he said. You yeah. should see this cute little thing, guys. It's a mini sturge. It's really sharp. When they're this small, they're extra, extra sharp. Literally razor blades. Is it a good view? I'm looking right now. It's, that is a brand a new on. baby. <laughs> Look. Oh, Mark calls them pokey boys. They are pokey boys. Little pokey boy. It's almost caught up. Look at that. They're so sharp. Oh yeah, you can see it down. You can see yeah, how down a little. You can see how sharp it is. Oh yeah, they're, they're literally they're razor, razor blades. blades. Mini sturge. All right. Cannonball for a thirty-pound channel. Oh hell, I don't know if I want a cannonball in the spring on ice out, but a thirty-pound channel to me would be worth a cannonball. Come on, little baby. I would do it later in the year for you, in remembrance of the thirty-pound chan. That a girl, Tara. I need to come catch one. Never tried. Yeah, they're uh, sturgeon fishing itself isn't very fun, but when you catch one, it's fun. Like I enjoy catfishing a lot, but like sitting on the ice just watching your bobber is ooh, is not Sick. is not is not the most fun thing. That's a lake sturgeon. <sighs> That fish just learned its first lesson in life, Big Slim said. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he sure did. Cute little thing, too. Yeah, that was this, I think Slim. that's the smallest one I've ever caught. That's really small. That's fish tank size. That'd be cool to have in a fish tank. Didn't even get him in the mall. A big tank. Yeah, he hooked him on the back side of the face. Right under his bottom lip. Nice butt grunt, Dan said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My fart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did that on my stream. It was really awesome. Yeah, Tara was streaming. I gave him a little, little tat, little show of the toot cannon. <laughs> what do you got for ice, Luke? Can we use your bump board and just look? Yep. We'll check right now, Josh. Now that I'm looking at it, there's more good ice than shit ice. And the first like six inches with the auger is kind of jumpy and like breaky. 
That top slush definitely froze though, Josh. There was a car out here. Um, the trucks are all parked by shore. I'm parked on the on the ice by the sand. Um, I wouldn't drive out here. But I wouldn't drive out here yet. In a couple of days, I maybe would. Realistic, we will catch a lot of 25 plus and get three over 30 in a weekend. All right, Kruger. 25 plus, huh? Let's do it. Your 20 plus would have me. Luke, are you planning on any bait catching videos this upcoming year? We, I am, Bucktail. I, I am. Uh, I'll be making some bait catching videos for sure. I'm going to go hard this summer, this spring and summer um, on videos. So I'll make whatever you guys want to see, I'll make. I'll make bait catching videos. I can do bait fishing live. Um, well, maybe not live. I go live bait fishing I just got to make time. sure where I'm doing it live or where I'm doing a video, it's legal to catch bait. Cause I only fish in legal bait areas though, so just gotta be careful. Jeff, Jeff has 13 inches in his hole. Why y'all doing this? I'm scared for y'all. What do you mean, Brian? Brian. 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 Now, now, Brian. Hold on, let me set up my thing. Enough. Flathead lives, dude. I'm ready for flathead lives. I think Tara's ready too. Ready for flathead. Flathead fishing in general. Yeah, just. Yeah, you got that thing set. Palmetto cats coming Woo! in hot with the two dollar donation. Thanks, okay. Palmetto. If you guys don't know Palmetto, great man. Uh, does a lot of videography for the um, Catfish Conference, and he runs the Golden Whisker Awards, which me and Tara are both nominated for this year. Gonna be a little less than that because the 16 it's about 14 inches because there was snow and, and slush a little bit of slush 14 to 15 inches josh i would say six of it is white ice and the rest is clear ice i would be comfortable driving out on this but i don't know if i will but i would I'll leave that up for the people to make their own decisions Good to see all you guys in here. Palmetto, thanks. Kevin, thanks for coming in here. Me and Tara are just, Tara's munching on her uh, sub sandwich there. Double meat, extra mayo. <laughs> and uh, I blew my trailer tire coming out here today. So we said we better catch a big one. Awesome. So Yeti in a week with the cold. Yeah, I think next week you'll be good, Josh. I think you'll be good in a week. I know you told me I could bum uh, use your house for a day. I might have to take you up on that for the my Vikings player buddies. I think I want to do some ice fishing before they head back south. Or I could just take them out in my portable. But I think they'd really like... A nice fish house over this. Fancy people. Um, my best night on the Minnesota with a buddy. We caught like 20 fish over 20 pounds in one night. It was wild. We stopped putting baits in the water. Just went to sleep. That's a pretty good night. <coughs> Apparently I have a safety feature that doesn't allow fuel to flow. It gets too cold. Really? What? um palmetto and what are you t in what palmetto are you talking about you talking in your boat i'm almost out of gas in my snowmobile which is hard to believe since i put in six seven gallons when i and i've hardly driven it mike muddy river catfishing my my biker homeboy what's up muddy river what's up chris you guys all know chris flores Muddy River catfishing. Fishing in the Yeti is unreal. I love Yetis. Jeremy oh. just bought a new one and I want to fish in that Who thing. Who has a Yeti they're fishing in? Halverson has one. Oh. Halverson, I heard you went to the concert with uh, Kimball. I heard that was an interesting experience, huh? You don't have to talk about it in here in chat, but John said it was pretty funny. Until it started... My Yamaha engine, 
he just squeezed the bulb and held it. Weird. Do you keep them or put them back? Ding dong! What's going on? Welcome back. Unless you've still been in here the whole time. Uh, we let him go. Are you at 100? What is your biggest fish you have caught? My biggest fish is a 330 pound white sturgeon. On the chart it's 330 pounds. British Columbia, uh, Canada on the Fraser River. Your biggest American fish. The biggest American? He didn't ask American fish. That's North America. I mean, that is American. Oh, what? what? We got a lot of fish on the graph. My biggest fish in the United States is about 150 pounds alligator gar. Probably is my heaviest. And then catfish is close and sturgeon, white lake sturgeon is close. Like 120 maybe. I don't even know. It was heavy. That's all I know. And I ain't no wimp. Literally the most diverse concert crowd ever. <laughs> I can't Old. Oh. Come, come. You're getting your face ripped off if you bite again. Bruh. Oh, dude. Bruh. We got one down there. Bruh. That scared the crap out of me. We got oh. one down there. That'll be a funny one. Dude, look at them fish down there. Holy Toledo. Mother. Sorry, I just scared whatever was down there. I'll tell you Shit. that. Shit. It's a lot less violent at the bottom. You gotta remember that. Well, it's more violent at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nelly! <laughs> you got excited. You're quick to the draw. I Holy like that. Holy crap, hola. I like that. Well, the thing fell. It did a full... Full swing? Let's see who's making fun of me. She swung and then she swung and a miss. Yeah, the hook sacks are free. <clears throat> do you spring bobber? Do you spring sucker fish? Oh, I do. And I enjoy it. <coughs> We're using, um. Oh, shit, yeah, my shark was probably bigger. You're right, Ryan. I always forget about it because it wasn't a real shark, Ryan. It is a nurse shark. A little gummy mouth. It's a real shark. It's not a sh real shark. Well, I mean, it technically is, but it's not a predator shark. My stuff just moved again. I gotta watch this. I got one down there. Try not to show my butt crack on stream. No. Mud puppy. <laughs> I'm using a VNC tingler spoon. You can see here. Swinging a miss for me. It's corn. The action's picking up. Action's picking up. Let's go. We spam some uh can we spam something in the chat? What should we spam in the chat to get a fish here? Uh, let's spam. Uh, let's spam. Let's spam two big farts what? in the chat. What? What? Fishing pet peeves. That would be fun to talk about. Is that a pet peeve of yours? I farted in my own fish house? <laughs> you better watch your tone. <laughs> No, when you fart on my stream. What? No. And then you just are quiet. I don't fart. And That's everyone you hears farting. it. That's you farting. Everyone heard it. We, did, we gotta be. You can't yell at. You can't abuse me. You can't abuse me mentally when you're that. on my stream. I don't want everyone to know how mean you are. You can't me. fart on my stream. Watch me. And not claim it. <laughs> what? That was you. It's. You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> <laughs> You toast that on the, st the stove. Get a nice char. <laughs> nice propane char. <laughs> what? <laughs> it smells like propane if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read comments? I'm on my phone. Oh shit. Right here. I'm holding on tight until you grab it. 
And I don't know what will happen. Smash the thumbs up button. Yeah, big time. Yeah, Jeff smiled at 30 people and only four likes. What? Four well, likes? Meadow says farts add to the ambiance. Four? Hold on. Four likes? He needs to claim them, though. That's the difference. Oh, there's 21 likes. Okay. Damn deer walking by the shanty. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly what he did. He ripped one and then he looked behind him. Well, I don't like want somebody that plastic was... thing on there. You can't rip it off. Because it's heavy. It's actually not good. Shit! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You gotta, you gotta let some line out, Luke. We're good. Is your, is the tip of your rod over the center of the hole? It's pretty close. Close enough. Close enough. Let's catch one. Hey, there's one on the bottom, I think. There is one on the bottom. Let's catch a thick girl. You gotta hit the heart. Jeff. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the thumbs up, not the heart. This ain't TikTok. My bad. Yeah, no hearts on YouTube, Palmetto said. I love said. how Mark says I'm always eating when I'm fishing. <laughs> I'm just making TikTok here. <laughs> Is it true? No. I always have food. Right. Well, you have to have food. I mean, it's easy to eat when you're Eight times for you. Does that make it an unlike or a like? An unlike or like? We got 32 people in here. If we get 68 more, I'm giving up doing a big giveaway. But that means everyone has to share it most likely. And then otherwise YouTube doesn't like me anymore. So that little plastic thing's holding your bobber up. And I like it. Well, any tank is going to You make... catching in? What's up, Blake? We were just talking about you. Uh... Before we came out, uh, your invention of the bobber trick. We're doing it right now. We got one. We just caught one. And we just both set and missed. No mud puppies yet. We're out in the original spot on uh, Lake St. Croix, Hudson. The normal flat break. If you guys don't know Blake Bednar in chat, Northwoods Angling. Um... He's the one that invented the uh, bobber trick. Uh, the one we're using. He has caught more 60 plus inch lake sturgeon ice fishing than anyone I've ever known in my life. Blake, you been out much at all? Been ice fishing, catching the big sturges? Balake. <laughs> One fish and a couple swing and a loop. That's about. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You did that. I have a PB and J too. For You're dinner. a big girl. No, why? <laughs> did you? Uh, wait, you got one? Did you make fun of me because they're dollar thirty nine? Because mm -hmm. that you think that was expensive? For that tiny PB and J, yeah. Don't. It's just uncrusted. For toddlers. Watch the pot, no boil. I think you and Tara need to turn your chairs, not watch for a few. It's going to change your luck. Yeah, maybe. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I think it either happens or it doesn't. But I will agree, when you start eating food and, like, not paying attention, this is when you when you get the bite, which is kind of true, but I don't know if it actually matters, you know? His video with Pete is awesome. I agree. And they got some awesome Sturgeon Ice videos. Good old Blake. I hear from him once in a once in a moon. What's the word phrase for that? 
Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. I'm feeling good now. I'm just searching right on bottom. You know how good it feels when you go ham on a hook set and but, it's actually heavy? Yeah, I know. It feels great. Oh. It feels great. We're only 65 away from a big giveaway, guys. If we can get 100 concurrent viewers in here. I don't know if it's possible during ice fishing season, but we'll try. If you guys are brand new to the stream and you're not following me, let me know how you found the stream. If you're in here and you're not a subscriber, let me know how you found my stream. I'm curious. Excited for tomorrow too. It's gonna be freezing. It's gonna suck. I'm excited until you remind me of the temperature. I know. Same. What the hell is that? <laughs> Damn deer walking by the shanty again. It's a deer. Again. It's a grunt. <laughs> That's sick. Thanks, Dan. Farts? No, that was a deer. There's a buck outside. <laughs> I hit live at the top and it shows you live. Oh, nice. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Jeff found it on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Buck on the ice. Yeah, they come, they cross the ice all the time. There was a coyote out here last year. I went and checked it out on my snowmobile. And I can imagine what that means. Went at it full speed just to get get a get a look. You did what? Hmm? The real what really happened was I was going over to try to run it down to check it to look at it. And I turned it turned sharp. I was chasing it on the snowmobile. I was not harassing wildlife. I was just going to look at it, but it started going the other way, so I turned sharp on my snowmobile and I flew off my snowmobile at like thirty miles an hour. I, my seat had snow on it. And if you've ever sat on a snowmobile seat with a glaze of snow they're really slippery and I'm too fat to hold on I did hold on for a little bit dragging my feet on the ground and then I let go and bounced off the snowmobile and rolled um it wasn't great I'm gonna be honest Facebook I was subscribed now it says I'm not well what the hell I gotta subscribe this summer, this spring and summer and fall is going to be a lot of videos, high quality, Tara editing content. Because Tara's my editor, if you guys don't know that. Oh! <laughs> I pay her in Snickers bars. I don't even like Snickers. I pay her in pudding snack packs. I do like snack packs. <laughs> 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 oh, I had the walk of shame going up. My friends Troy and Amy were here. And uh, they were watching me chase down the... Her dog was freaking... Their dog was freaking out because the coyote was coming out of the lake. So I went and chased it down to take a peek at it. And yeah, I ate shit. You can imagine my feet dragging off the sled at 35 miles an hour and then falling off the side and rolling. Is your mother still in the stream? I doubt it. Hey. It's okay, though. Does she know about that? Well, what? She didn't so upset. It's just a thing. It ain't nothing just another day okay I live a dangerous lifestyle my hands get sore my We're thumb my thumbs <laughs> my thumbs hurt I get thirsty playing warzone <laughs> <laughs> yeah I want to say that I haven't been ice fishing much because I don't want to ice fish but I've just been playing a lot of warzone grinding camels on multiplayer playing warzone it's really nice. Was that Tara's version of you kiss your mother with that mouth? Pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much exactly what it is. <clears throat> At least we caught a fish on stream. That's cool. Yeah, you thought it was a mud puppy. You did a great job. Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> You're really good at this fishing stuff. You should go for Female Angler of the Year Award. Oh, wait. 
<laughs> oh my god. She already was nominated. You're such a boob. Oh, you didn't even see her catch it, Kevin? Uh, like 10 minutes ago. Just another day in the life of Luke. That's right. Just full risk. <laughs> Big reward. <laughs> what reward did you get out of that? Laughs mm -hmm. and sore back. A good gut laugh. Yeah, a gut laugh. That's right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it probably was right before you came in, Kevin. Thought you were in here. Maybe not. Heater's on high, though. Got the propane tank outside. That's how you roll. No need to keep it inside. Just filled her up. 10 pound tank. I really want to hold one like this tonight. Okay. We just got to put hashtag time in. Hashtag time in. Mm -hmm. uh, I could take a nap. Ryan Kruger says, Congrats, Terry. I think he meant Tara. Okay. <laughs> I was so, like, alright. So Look it's at okay. this hot dog. Yeah, it's going way Look at hard. that hot dog right on the bottom. Ooh, get ready. It's not a big one, but I'll take it. Yeah, it was really small. But it's a sturge. It was the smallest one I've ever caught. Yeah. Terry got a big one last winter. It's 53. 50 something. I don't even remember. 53 to 55. Somewhere in there. It's my first one by myself, too. Yeah, that's cool. More cool. More cool yet. It, even cooler. Even cooler yet. Frigid. Yeah. Almost an hour live already. I was going to end it at an hour. But I think I'll stay going for a little bit. A little bit. We'll give her the bo give it the bonus twenty. Yeah, bonus twenty. Um, and then Tara might go live on TikTok again tonight. Tara fishing on TikTok if you don't follow her. She's famous. That's why I hang out with her. That's not true. Cause she's famous. That's not true. Move to a new spot, a lot better spot. Where are you at, Brandon? You actually moved? I do not move when I start sturgeon fishing. Me neither. Nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> the TikTok. Nope. We got one, Brandon. Just a little bit ago on stream. And now... Man, it is cold out. Look at that house. It's starting to freeze in the corners. Mm. Not it. It's not the play. We just stay here. Yeah, we don't move. <laughs> We're not going to move until the cold front passes. Yeah, we don't move. I was going to comment on you and say something funny, but I'm not going to. What? I was going to say, Luke is hot. Because <laughs> I'm you. <laughs> what was yeah, that? Yeah, I said it. I mean, when your bobber goes in, it's usually a fish, Tara. You. Or a mud puppy. You choose. Something bumped your line. I dig it. I dig it. Hook sets are free. Yeah, they are. Spread them out. Huh? Spread those legs out. Sorry. So then it'll stay more stable and okay. lower. Sounded bad. Okay. Yeah, you should be seeing a lot of fish come through, Brandon. Just finding the one that eats is the trickiest part of the whole thing. Okay, real wide now. You know what? No, it's fine. Too wide, not wide enough. I'm just, no, it? it's not too or not wide enough. I'm just saying it could help you. Don't yell at me. Whipping abusive. People are going to know now. That's horrible. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> That looks so mud puppy-esque. I just want you guys to know, there's 30 of you in here. I'm really happy you guys are hanging out. I mean that. I don't live stream for the gloat or the getting as most people as I can. It's cool having a lot of people, but I'll tell you what. You guys, If you guys have followed me for 
10 years. I've been live streaming for 10 years about. I just love it. I love it and I appreciate everyone hanging out. It seriously is it's a big deal to me that you guys are take your time and just watch even if you're not paying super close attention. It's a good feeling hanging out with everyone. It's like you guys can be here with us and chill. Hinton, what's going on? Sounds good, Jeremy. What's up, Kennedy? How many, beautiful? Um, you know, we've gotten one sturgeon so far. Uh, he's also said, tell Tara hello. Hello! Um, one sturgeon so far. And miss, we've swung and missed on three. So, so far, we're marking a lot of fish. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's it is pretty neat, Kevin. It is neat. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Your face. Mm. When you did that. Yeah, I remember starting live streaming on when Facebook Live started. I was one. Of, I was the first fisherman I actually knew of that ever fished live on Facebook Live that I have ever seen. And I learned Facebook Live from a professional bass fisherman. He was doing like a question Q and A, and I was like, oh, I can do live. And then I started live catfishing. And there's times I had hundreds of people in a Facebook Live just chilling. This was like before I even caught my my blue cat. That's been a long time. Everyone that was just hanging out in Facebook world. Oh, I like oh I like that one you had there. That was nice. Yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> that's a perfect set. Stop. Yeah, that's perfect. Wow. That's perfect. If it would stay there without that plastic weight in the back, I bet it'd even be better, but I don't know if it will. Probs not. It's just like a little counterweight. You can even cut that in half. That would actually probably be even better. Wanna try it? I don't have my scissors. You don't have to. I'm just seeing if you want to try it. You don't have to do it. I do whatever you tell me. What? Anything? Sick. Oh, I didn't mean that. That's Tara. what you meant. Cut the plastic in half because it comes off. No, oh, on the not top? Not the bobber. No, the plastic on the glow ring. That's actually good right there. Yeah, that's fine, fine. I was talking about that the glow thing. You can take it off and cut it in half and get, make it have less weight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she just rips the bobber in half, guys. <laughs> it looks great. I love it. Love that. It doesn't matter how short your bobber is. What's the most northern phrase Minnesota people say? Oh. Yeah, sure. Um, let me squeeze past ya. I don't say that. Oh, you betcha. You betcha is not used a lot. Up north it is, though. I'd say you betcha. Wasn't that the question, Luke? But what what is stuff we say that people don't say in the southern states? Chan. No, you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Yeah, sure. A lot of people say yeah, sure. Yeah, you betcha. We, pro we pro pronounce our O's a lot. Like when we say Minnesota, people say, oh, Minnesota? Minnesota. We drag our O's big time. Okie doke. Okie dokie. Oh, we definitely say that. Is that a northern thing? I didn't even know that was a northern thing. We only say pop. There's no soda. No Coke. It's just pop. Oh, oofta. That's a good one. Oofta's a big one. I say that. Oofta, Terry, your farts stink. Didn't you just fart? No. Oh, that was me. Yeah, sure. Luke, are you in danger? Blink twice for help. <laughs> That's funny. People ask him or me that. <laughs> no, they don't. At CatCon because I was there with you. CatCon? Yes. 
Ember has was like Tara. Oh. You need help, <laughs> blink twice. That's right. That's funny. Oofta. Oofta could be like... Wow, wow, yeah, it's like wow. You typically use it in like oofta, it's called. Like, yeah, kind of like wow. Like, extremely. <laughs> Any fish? Yeah, we got one, George. We got one sturgeon. We're big time sturgeon fishermen. That is such a big fish on there. Yeah, kind of like holy buckets. Unless you're saying that's what we say, but we say that too. Oof, that's probably the biggest one though. You betcha. Oof, I think it depends on who you are. I say ope all of the time. You say ope? Yeah. Holy smokes. I say that. Holy smokes. These fish are darting through here. Oh, for cute. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Kevin, what are you getting at here? Oh, gosh, that's thick. Know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Look how big it is. It's just, dude, that's like Girth City. These are some big. What does skull mean? It means go Vikings. I don't know the actual meaning. It's from the Viking times, maybe. Pick a number one through ten. If I guess right, you can send me a hat or sticker. I'm going to bring a hat and stickers for you when I come fish with you. If I get a 30, you get to have it all. Might even bring you a rod. Maybe even bring you a Hellcat rod, Ryan. So, that 30. Fish. You can't tie fish up either and put them on my hook. Nyquist says he's hooked up. Hey! How are you on time? here, Nyquist? Big time? His buddy must be hooked up. Is it big time fish, Nyquist, or small time fish? I mean, it took enough time for him to get grab this phone and message that. Yeah, that's true. So that's, that's, I made three phone calls when I was catching my fish. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know how. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> Something's on there, maybe. No, just worms. Should I squeeze another worm on there? Tear up? Yeah. Yeah, big time. Swinging a Luke! <laughs> I just commented that. Who did? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, I did it's it. It's rude. Do it. Uncalled for. Did it. You're sick. The doing has been done. Mentally unstable right now. Shit. That makes me feel normal. What if you suck and Tara catches one? What? I already did. She already caught one. <laughs> She's better at fishing. She's trying to teach me her way. It was a big fish snap my braid. Brandon said. You had a lot kink in, you had a niche in your line, buddy. I'm sorry, that stinks. Hashtag check your line, Brandon. You're a guide. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tara, it's okay. Well, that sucks. At least they moved to the right spot. You know there's fish there now. That's a big clump of worms. Here, I'll show everybody. There's my worms. Can you, honey, you can press see. Right there, big clob of them. Clob of them. Going down. It is warm up here. Holy monkey. Holy monkey. Why isn't this fan over there? 
sick. Hold heavy drag for like two minutes straight and it snapped. No! That's so sad. That's the worst! Oh, Ryan said no, the 30 pound channel. What did? Ryan Kruger said, what if you suck and Tara catches one? And then that we I don't suck, Ryan. That's what you're not getting. Channel's my middle name. Yeah, it's not Daniel. It's Channel. 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 <laughs> That's one. To me, of course. <laughs> Shut up. That's so dumb. You mean to me. Whatever. Did she say I don't look nice? They say you look really trashy. I'm just kidding. She never said that, but it's funny. Tara's going to bring her own portable next time. <laughs> what? Because they sense it, Luke. They're what? That you're mean? No, that you're annoying sometimes. What? <laughs> what? What did you just say? You got a long walk back. Jeff said, man, just stuck outside in the damn cold. Yeah. Oh, dude. What? That's the worst when you lose a fish like that. I know. It's probably the state record, Nyquist. And it is cold out. It's really cold out. My camera's kind of crooked and it's kind of driving me nuts. What's the bait? Worms. Night crawlers. That's all we got on. A lot of night crawlers. A lot of night crawlers. Do mud puppies swim? They can. Like, do they suspend? I don't think so. Naturally. I think naturally they just run along the bottom and swim along the bottom. Mm. Look at that one right on yeah. bottom. Speaking of bottom. I'm still traumatized for this fall and the one I lost. Yeah, it's losing fish sucks. Big time. That one up at Park Rapids. Brandon estimated 50 plus. He's out of Mega Live. <sighs> That's rough. There's mud puppies down there. That's what's going on. Oh, there's not, that is not a mud puppy. That fish just ran into my line. I don't really want to hold your phone. But I don't want to... There we go. I need to be ready to set the hook, guys. Cause you got some real deal fish down there right now, and they're going lower and lower. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh gosh, get ready. We got a big stroller on bottom. I don't use cup bait. I use minnows sometimes. Not suckers though. I'm not sucker minnows. Just fat heads or whatever. You can use cut pieces of minnow and like a little fillet on there almost too. But right now we're just running strictly worms. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I grasp them quiet. What do you mean? Like, there hasn't been, like... Oh, a bunch of stuff on it? Yeah. What's up, Hillbilly? What's going on?
why it's nice. If we get a loud live stream, he doesn't tell you stop talking. One run of worm and one mixed. Yeah, I'd typically mix. But we're just running. We have minnows, but that minnows. We're just using minnows for the mm, crappie rod. I'm going to put this even lower in the water. How low can I go? Not me. We'll go another, what, six inches? Is that right on bottom? That's right off bottom. I'll even go a little lower. Maybe a sturgeon will pick it up. Wouldn't that be fun on this road? Oh my gosh. Would not be good. Oh yeah, now we're right off bottom. Yep. Look at that. What is that now? <laughs> what? I have no idea. We got some fish down there. It's crappie at the start of the stream, but none since. Yeah, we've had quite a few up in midwater calm. Um, Rosno, what's going on? I was in the other room, but I thought I heard Cannonball if you hook a 50 inch plus. Hell no. <laughs> Polar not, plunge. Not for a 50 inch sturgeon. If I break my PB Lake Sturgeon, I'll jump in. I'll drill a hole big enough to jump in. No. What? You'd never break it. That's the whole point. Just want people to know. You can't tell them. Tara will jump in for a 60. I would dip my whole leg in for a 60. Whole leg in for a 60, guys. We're staying all night. And she's going to be so cold on the way back. Actually, she won't be because she'll probably take her bibs off. Yep. For them, we start three feet off the bottom. Yeah, sometimes that's where they're at. We had them all coming through like 15 to 20 earlier. Just swimming. Strong. There's a fish. Big sturge! Oh, there's a big sturge. Holy <laughs> smokes. There's so many big marks here. It's crazy. What time is it? 49. I'm going to give it till 8 o'clock. Ten minutes. We gotta catch one. And by then, I mean I'm just gonna sit here and hang out and not be on live. This ice fishing stuff's for the birds, guys. Tweet, tweet. Yeah, I even bought an ice fishing snowmobile, which you'll see on my TikTok of Tara driving it. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be good. Look at that. Slobber McSlobberson. There's so many big fish on the graph. It's a little weird looking because Tara's graph's on for some reason. Because I like to know what's on mine. Yeah, she likes to see what's on her graph. <laughs> <laughs> you just make it sound so stupid. <laughs> Um, second rod back in water. I'm pissed. Get it, Brandon. Get it. Where'd you launch at, Brandon? Hudson? Oops. Hmm? I'm just talking. Don with a $4 donation? Catfish Don? Thanks, Don. The 
catfish dawn? No, that's sturgeon dawn. I think. This is sturgeon dawn? I don't know. If it's the dawn or dawn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mower here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's where we... Did you see my truck up there or were you already out? Or no, I parked in the lake. Shit. I forgot. I like that. I like it a lot. Thanks, Don. I appreciate that. Very much. So many fish here. Shit, sick. Oh. We need them lows. Lower ones. Yo, you're on the hill? I didn't lose my truck. Oh, he's been out since noon. Dang. There's like six or seven vehicles on the ice right now. Well, parked on the ice. I feel comfortable parking there because it's like literally five inches deep and the ice is probably to the bottom. So, so I park there. And there's probably enough ice to drive out here, to be 100% honest. There's a little Tacoma over there. Yeah, there's a Subaru. Mm -hmm. It's the Tacoma and a Subaru out here. I wouldn't do it yet. Look at that, Chongo. Been watching you for years, Luke. I'm from Bismarck. Oh, you did say you're from Bismarck. My friends I play Xbox with are from Bismarck. By Xbox, I mean Call of Duty. The whole crew. And by Call of Duty, I mean Warzone. And by Call of Duty, I mean Warzone. Because <laughs> I'm a soldier. No. <laughs> well, I'm not real one. I pretend one. Your truck looks good. Like, physic visually, or like, you just drove by? <laughs> Aesthetically, <laughs> Aesthetically, or? Aesthetically, or? Like, what are you trying to say, Jeff? It's still rusty, I bet. I was just back there a while ago getting stuff I forgot. Yeah, worms. I forgot all the worms in my truck, and then I came back, and then I realized I forgot all my rubber clamps to hold my door shut because my fish house is broke. <laughs> we send it here. <laughs> Saw it on the SK, good. <laughs> How can you just do that? What? My womanly brain will never. Womanly? Comprehend. Don't even do that. What? Don't do that. What? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of attitude there. I like it. Want to go fight outside? No, Won't be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll fight her on camera. What? You're sick. You are. What? Would you stop? You're Just you mind your own. And... Oh, she's getting fiery now. <laughs> There's no way the people in the stream didn't hear that. What are you talking about? Nobody said anything. <laughs> if you haul the CCJ down to Venice, Louisiana, we are going down March 11th for a week. I do not want to drive my boat down to Louisiana, although I will. I'll put it on my truck. Mark, you will? You want to go? To go to Louisiana? And fish giant Have bull you? reds? Oh. You had me at giant. Yeah, that's where Chris is with his sea arc. Dan said, stop farting, Tara. I agree. It's pretty sick. What? Huh. Dan who? Don't worry about Which it. Which Dan? Not the Dan. Which one? Different one. Well, that one, Dan. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That fish just went high to low real quick. It's hungry. Chris, 
Chris is leaving the day before they leave. Oh, we leave. Okay, before they... So he leaves and then they go. That does sound kind of fun. A little brackish saltwater bull red fishing. Oh my gosh. They're the best tasting no fish I've ever had. Yeah. Mm. You'll be fine. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm worried about you. What? Yeah, you I have my spray. You swell up if you forget your ointment. <laughs> I might be down to bring the boat. We'll see. Hell, why not? Should we go? March when? They leave March. Eleventh. Yeah, birthday trip. All right. Count us in, Nyquist. Where do you stay? I wish it was closer to my brothers. Could probably have him meet us and take him fishing too. Your broha? My broha. He's a good guy. Yeah, he likes fishing. Nyquist, we'll have to talk about it. That fish is still the best fish I've ever eaten in my life. We don't have any minnows on, George. We're bought, we're sturgeon fishing. Bringing it up three feet. Oh, the minnow. I was up three feet and I dropped it down. It didn't want it. There's a mark like six feet up. No, four feet up. I might have to go three feet up because I'm seeing fish three feet up now come through. Oops. Delta Marine in Empire. They have four people cabins for like a hundred dollars a night. Right, let me uh I'm gonna put my bobber up. George said put bobber up three feet. Alright, George. Going up three feet, George. For the last two minutes of the stream. Just for you. There it is. You gotta go up a little more. One more foot. I think that was only about two. There we go. There's three. It's gonna get hammered now by a crappie. A big white. Why aren't you going? Slip! You're a slip bo bobber. Oh, it's stuck and that's annoying. Oh. I'm at the bottom. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Shit. George, I went the wrong way. That wasn't very smart of me. I can't believe I just did that. Done. We'll talk to you later. Any more bites? We've had bites. Um, fish hookups, not as good. There we go. Alright, we're three feet off. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, enjoyed watching you guys tonight. I had a good luck on the perch over here this month around Saginaw. Thailand's damn, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Any more bites? Uh, just a couple bites, but we missed a few. Thanks for coming in, Dan. And Don. Thank you. All right, it is 08 o'clock. I've been streaming an hour and a half. I'm going to end my stream. Unfortunately, oh, wait, we got some stuff happening here. Hold mm -hmm. on. We got some stuff happening here. Hold on. All right, they disappeared. What's going to happen is I'm going to go live, end my live, and I'm going to get a big fish on. That's just part of the game. I found that out over the years. Well, I appreciate all you guys hanging out. Make sure if you're not subscribed, you do. Enjoy. And hopefully you enjoyed the stream with me and Tara. Jeez. You got a lot more of uh, us coming here this spring and summer and fall. Big year for uh, 
big year for us. We're going to come out strong here in this flathead season this fall, this channel cats, the sturgeon. We're going to be going to Idaho. Looks sounds like we might be going to uh, the bayou. The bayou down in Venice, Louisiana. No, I can't stay live. I can't stay live. I got to go. I want to relax for a little while. I can't live the whole time. I just got to relax. Um, if you guys want to, we might go live in a little bit on Tara's TikTok. If you want to watch that, go to Tara Fishing on TikTok. Mom, you don't have TikTok, so you won't be going to that. But uh, Lisa Gangle, shout out. Thick, she said. What? Yeah. You know her? <laughs> it's thick. <laughs> All right, both of our mothers have a good Look night. Look at that. Oh my gosh, get ready. I gotta put my phone down. Hold on, guys. We got a big, thick one on the bottom. Get ready to set the hook. That's the biggest yet. Oh my gosh. But why did no bite? Can oh. we have that fish? It's thick. I bet my mom's just dying right now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> my mom just put up a whale emoji. <laughs> 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 they're, in it yeah, they're teaming up. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting off. <laughs> I gotta get my phones up here. I can say goodbye. I'm here. Okay. How do I flip? That's Tara, guys. <laughs> She's so fun. Yeah. All right. I'm ending the stream. We got one sturgeon. A lot more to come here this winter even. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Fish on Luke. Live edition. You guys have a wonderful evening and we will talk soon. Adios. Terra Fishing on TikTok. We're going live soon.